Hi guys, so welcome back. I'm um, not sure how good the quality is going to come out on this dual um, microphone on the webcam here, um, but I'm not bothering with the earphones today. I uh, should be okay. Um, before I start chopping stuff up, I thought I'd give you a brief idea of what I'm up to. Um, I've set up the laptop and webcam outside. I'll just show you here. Outside. And what I've done here is there's a, um, there's a hose pipe here and I'm running the hose along here down over my brick there and I'm using the hose to wet the walls and then I'm using this cover here to capture any extra dust that might come off the cutting and between the three, the, the, the cover, the walls and the brick with the hose over I'm reducing most of the dust that's coming off the process itself so to cut the bricks into slabs I'm using this grinder here and I'm using that with the um, breath mask because I'm pretty close to the thing and uh, I'll just show you how I'm chopping a few up and then after that I'll show you how I'm taking the pieces and then putting them on here to clean them up on the wet top. So um, let's put this over here and see if we can stop dust and stuff. So, for this next one, I'm going to be trying some 116 scales out, so they're going to be thinner slices. Um, them two slabs were 110s. used half a brick for now because I'll swap out under the plinth for a new brick, which is easier to work with, and the half bricks I can use to stack up uh, to use under the plinth itself. So, let's try some uh, 1 to 16 scales.
So that's two one sixteen scale slabs and two one ten scale slabs. Um, I'll then stack these now and do a bit of work on the wet saw so you can see that. So I've got the wet saw in place and I've got the trusty ruler and I've checked that the thickness of the slab is 24 millimeters, which is I'm after. Uh, the thickness I'm after is 23.5 milli, but as I want to be able to trim it down on the grinding wheel by hand afterwards, I've just left an extra uh, half a millimeter, millimeter on the end of it. So I've got a bit of space uh, to trim the bricks up. It's better to have the bricks slightly larger and trim them down than have them too small and can't expand them up. So I'll, uh, I'll just show you how I'm slicing this up into thin slabs um, on the 110 scales and then I'll do the same for the 116 scales and then um, once I've sliced them into thin slabs and turn them around you'll see how they turn out into bricks so it's easier to show you than uh, explain so I'll, uh, I'll just show you this one <laughs> So now guys we have thin slats, thin slabs, we can trim these up into slices going that way and um, we can break them down into bricks then. So I'll just show you that last uh, stage before I call it quits. So guys, as you can see here, you kind of get a pretty correct shaped block. And these little edges you can just trim down on the grind by hand. I'll just show you that there. So I'll just trim this down. <coughs> That is a 110 scale brick, pretty much a bob on accurate, I'll check it with the measure, go through all of these, trim them down, check them with the ruler, get seconds, get a first pile and 
you know, um, that's how you make 110 scale bricks and um, I'll also do the same for the 116s. So I'll, get, I'll see what I can get a bit of a pile done for just the next half hour now and um, see how many get done. So I hope this is an insight, I hope I'm not waffled too much and not keeping your time up. Thanks for watching, thanks for your input and I'll uh, see you later. Thanks.